Hi everyone! Welcome to another new week of Reader's Workshop. I'm so excited to start a new story with you guys this week. And um, this story is actually called Tiny T-Rex and the Impossible Hug. So this is a really cool story because this is actually the first part of the book before even the title. So I wanted to make sure that you saw this part. And we're going to do an interactive journal. So on your seesaw, you're going to notice that Miss T has already created an interactive journal for you. And it looks like a lot, but don't worry. As we pause the video, you're going to do each part at a time. So you can, you can either watch the whole video and do it on your own journal and then just copy on seesaw afterwards. Or you can watch the video, pause when we pause, and then go to Seesaw and do a little bit and go back. So whatever works for you. But we're gonna, I'm going to be pausing the video so our teachers have time to stop and jot and think. So um, but we're going to be pausing during the, those parts. Awesome. So here we go. Hello, Pointy. Are you okay? No. Today I feel sad. I do not want to play. Tiny T-Rex and the Impossible Hug by Jonathan Stoltzman, illustrated by Jay Fleck. So I'm actually gonna pause right here because I actually wanna zoom in on this really cute part of the story. And this is Tiny T-Rex and he's making a list of how to make a friend feel better. And he wrote some ideas of how to make his friend feel better, which connected to the last page, we know that he is really worried about his friend. And so he thinks, a cake, smiles, hugs, tacos, and jokes are going to be some things that can make his friend feel better. I want you to stop and jot right now. What are some things that you think can help make a friend feel better? So take some time and stop and jot here, and I'll record what the teachers say in the seesaw. And teachers, when you're ready, thank you, Ms. Hernandez. Go ahead and share. If I had a friend who was sad, I think I would give that person a lollipop Ooh. to cheer him up. A lollipop. Ooh, I would be super excited if I got a lollipop. Awesome. So lollipop. Ms. Rosales, what do you think? I think I would either use kind mm. words or give a gift, mm. like Ms. Hernandez. I love that. And I actually have seen Miss Rosales be a good friend and drop off gifts and use kind words. So I know she definitely thinks and does these things. Awesome job. So I, I love that um, you guys are going to come up with your own ideas of what makes a really good friend. And we're going to go back to what Tiny T-Rex did here. And if you look really closely, he circles hugs. And that kind of ties into the title of the text where it says Tiny T-Rex and the impossible hug. Let's continue. Why is his hug impossible? I have tiny arms. It is very difficult to hug with tiny arms. Each day I am growing taller, but my arms are still tiny. Hugging almost seems impossible for a Rex as tiny as me, but I will try anyway. Pointing needs me. Where is my father? I will ask him for advice. Hello, father. Rexes are thinkers, not huggers. Perhaps instead of hugs, mathematics might be the answer to your problem. Pointy does not like math. Math will only make Pointy feel worse. I'm gonna pause right there, and I want us to stop and draw. How do you think Rex Tiny feels about his dad's idea? Maybe you can draw an emoji. You can stop and draw, so I made a little box for you to draw right here, an emoji of what you think um, Tiny feels right now. Mm. 
And teachers, when you're ready, you guys can show me your emojis. Awesome, Mr. Hernandez. So I think um, Tiny was disappointed because he went to his father to get some good advice to help his friend, but he thought that father's advice was not gonna be very helpful. I love that you used that word disappointed instead of just what we were talking about last week, using the best, choosing the best word to describe how our characters are feeling. And disappointed is a good one because he thought his dad was going to help, but dad didn't. Now, Ms. T's drawing of disappointed is not very clear on the seesaw because it's really hard to draw the computer, but I hope you're paying attention to the video and looking at how Ms. Hernandez drew that picture. Awesome. Ms. Rosales, did you have an idea? I felt that he was a bit flustered or frustrated okay. because he doesn't know his friend like he does. Mm. So fresh. I'm trying to draw just like... You did it frustrated and flustered, like, ah, oh, like, ah, oh, how come my dad doesn't know, right? Awesome. Thank you for sharing. Let's go back to the text and see, hmm, what's going to happen next? Hello, Auntie Junip. I have a problem. I must learn how to hug, but my arms are too tiny. I have found that balance is the key to every problem. Balance and freshly squeezed cucumber juice. Ugh, that's disgusting. I will ask my mother for help instead. I'm gonna pause right there again. It seems like Tiny has asked another person for help. How does he feel after this encounter? So you can draw in your second box right here. And teachers, when you're ready, yes, Ms. Hernandez, go ahead. So for me, as I was listening to the story, I thought Aunt Junip, is that her name? Mm -hmm. I thought her advice was confusing to me. So I would only imagine that it's probably going to be confusing to him as well. Yeah, I would agree. That was kind of confusing. Balance, like what does that even mean? <laughs> awesome. So confused. And how about you, Ms. Rosales? So I was like thinking, uh, another person that doesn't understand me. <laughs> <laughs> I love the little teardrop. I see that in a lot of cartoons and emojis as well. It's like, oh my goodness, can't people get it together? Awesome job. And I was going to even add disgusted. He was like, ugh, that's nasty, right? So you could write disgusted if that's your idea too. Let's keep going. I wonder what he feels about the next encounter. I have fallen and now I'm lost. I do not think I will find my mother in here. Hello, mother. It's okay if you can't hug, Tiny. You are good at many other things. You are kind and creative and braver than most. You are tiny, but your heart is big. I cannot hug with my heart, mother. I must learn to hug with my arms. So I'm gonna pause right there and go ahead and think about what Pointy is feeling about in this moment. And I'm gonna remind us readers that sometimes our reaction to how the um, characters in the stories are responding can be different than what the character is experiencing. For example, when I read that part, I was about to cry a little because I thought that was so encouraging and loving of the mother to say that. But we're asking, what is Tiny feeling about that interaction? So stop and draw um, what their emoji would look like. Ms. Rosales, go ahead. I feel like he feels annoyed. <laughs> annoyed. Love the little eyeballs looking up.
Awesome. So Tiny might be feeling annoyed because he, he can't hug with his heart. He's right. You can't really hug with your heart. Miss Hernandez, what do you think? I put that he was getting upset because he thought for sure his mother would give him the best advice. Yeah. Exactly. Because it's he's done this not just once, but three times already, and no one's been able to give him his answer. Oh, boy. Let's keep going to see what's going to happen. Hello, sister. Hello, brother. Please help me. Hugging is very difficult. We'd love to help, Tiny. To do the impossible, you must plan and practice. Practice, practice, practice. Thank you, Trixie and Rari. That is good advice. I'm gonna pause right here. Now that was our last one. So what is um, Tiny's final reaction here to his brother and sister? Um, Mr. Salas, what do you think? He's pleased with the response. Mm, pleased. Mm. Again, I love our teacher's choice in words. So pleased. Awesome. Mr. Hernandez, what do you think? I put that finally he's hopeful. Yeah. His brother and sister finally gave him some advice that just might work. Exactly. Like, we don't know if it's going to work yet, but he has a plan, right? Awesome job. So, wow, we can see even through all our stop and draws, our little tiny has gone through so many different emotions already. Awesome. Let's keep reading our story. I will plan my strategy. <laughs> I will get stronger. I will practice very hard. I will practice my hugs on everything. <laughs> mm, I will not practice on that anymore. <laughs> I am almost ready. I will practice one more time. When I am done, I will find my friend. This tree is very big, like pointy. I will hug it. This is not a tree. I have made a mistake. Please help. From up here, everything looks tiny like me. I could hug anything I wanted. We're gonna stop and act right here. What would you feel if you were tiny on this pterodactyl? Teachers, you can go ahead and stop and act. I'd be like, oh, I know, I'm so scared of heights. Tiny can't fly. I hope everything's gonna be okay. I wonder what's gonna happen next. Now I am falling. I should not have let go. Now I will never, ever find Pointy. Oh, hello, Pointy. <laughs> hello, Tiny. <laughs> I am here to make you feel better. I have practiced very hard and hugged many things. My arms are still tiny, and my hugs are still tiny, but I will do my very best because you are my very best friend. Thank you, Tiny.
That was the biggest hug ever. The end. And so our last stop and jaw is, jaw is I want you to think about what makes Tiny such a good friend? So your sentence frame might be, Tiny is a good friend because, and then we'll write the responses here. And I love that you can take your sweet time to really think about it carefully because Tiny did a lot of things throughout our story. There's many reasons why he's a good friend. So Ms. Hernandez, do you have a thought? Yes, yeah, so I wrote Tiny is a good friend because he did not give up finding a way to hug his friend. I love it. I was, I also agree. I was thinking, man, he really didn't give up. He kept on trying and trying. Awesome. Ms. Rosales, do you have a thought or do you need some more time? A little bit more time. Okay. So again, make sure when you're writing the stop and jot to make sure it's a complete sentence. Don't just say, good friend, he is, because he cares, right? Write a complete sentence, tiny is a good friend, and then ends it with the punctuation. Ooh, I see. Tiny is a good friend because he cares enough about his friend to make a change. Wow, I love that. Tiny is a good friend. Can you tell us a little bit about what you mean by make a change? So I was struggling to figure out if change is the best word here, mm -hmm. but my thought was that he wanted to make an improvement on something that he normally does mm -hmm. um, to make that extra special for his friend. Mm -hmm. So he already gives hugs, but because his friend was feeling so low, he wanted to make this hug even more special for him. And so he, he was determined to make a change in himself to help his friend out. That's how much he cared. Mm, I love that because you're using how the character kind of has changed and the fact that he wants to change in order to improve. And that's actually really hard for a lot of people to do when they're all, if they've already been one way, it's really hard to improve ourselves, but you can tell that Tiny really wants to. So I love that reasoning for what makes Tiny a good friend. So we wanna hear what you think um, makes Tiny a good friend. And don't forget to also rate the story out of five stars. If you really liked it, again, the shapes is right here. Can you click on the star? and then you can figure out how many stars you'd like. So teachers, how many stars do you think you'd give this story? <laughs> I so love this. <laughs> I love this story so much too. I think I'd give it five stars as well. So I'm just copy and pasting. You can do the same, or you can even just draw the stars if you want to. And here's our rating. We're excited to hear what you think how, how you enjoyed the story. So thank you so much for joining us this week or today for the beginning of this week. And we cannot wait to hear what you think and what you come up with. So we will see you again tomorrow. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.